Hey everybody, it's Dave from uh, Meneas, <laughs> dealing with Meneas with Dave, and it's me. Um, so, uh, so in I was good with Vertigo and everything. This is just a recap of um, the last video I made, and then I'm going to talk about something completely different. Um, so the last video I made, I said I was doing really good um, with drinking um, Palm Springs water with electrolytes. I've also been drinking regular water with electrolytes. And for the most part, um, I have been feeling pretty good, except for the last few days. Um, they've been really bad. And I had a very busy weekend. Um, you know, Saturday, we had to um, pick up my granddaughter. I have two grandchildren. My granddaughter's, because she was going to do a sleepover. Um, plus, my, um, my son was making his confirmation on he made it Sunday. So it was a, it was very hectic. You know, we drove an hour to pick her up. We drove an hour back home. We went shopping. Um, then we got back. I made a lasagna uh, for Sunday. And then Sunday was confirmation, which not only was I attending the confirmation because it was my kid, um, I also was video recording it as well. And it's it's very stressful when you're trying to do a live stream and sitting with your family and I don't even want to go there. Uh, <laughs> but it was a small thing. It was just, um, you know, my kids, my oldest son who's married and has the two grandchildren, uh, my daughter, Aaron, my son, John, and my mother-in-law and father-in-law, all plus my wife, Diane. Um, and, you know, and it was great. I mean, that was it. It was a small thing, nothing big, no big party. Um, but still with veneers and all these people talking and all these people, you know, even at the church talking and, and, you know, people here talking and you're trying to run around. I'm trying to edit a video. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to edit a video when I got home. I'm trying to cook a lasagna and talk to people all at the same time. So my brain went into hyperdrive and, um, I woke up yesterday and I was very, very sick. Uh, vertigo, um, stomach nauseous. Didn't want to eat, even though I forced myself to eat because I am a diabetic. I drank a ton of water. Um, surprisingly, I, I tried a meclizine. That seemed to calm my stomach down a little bit. Um, and as the day went on, I, I, I was feeling better and better, but not 100%. And this morning I woke up and I actually felt okay for a couple of hours. And then after that, it was like, ugh. I ended up in bed the rest of the afternoon with on and off vertigo uh, to the point where um, I ended up picking a Valium. I just couldn't deal with it. And I feel okay now. I'm just, I'm really tired. But I wanted to make this video. So that's an update. And I'm still doing, drinking um, the electrolyte water. I'm still taking my vitamin B complex with zinc, um, which you can get anywhere. Any CVS, Walgreens, or Kroger's, uh, Walmart, Target. Excuse me, uh, my Boston accent is coming out. You can get it anywhere if you want to try it. I'm not trying to push it or sell it. I don't sell anything on this site. This is all on my dime. I don't have a sponsor. Um, we all know that deal because I've from previous videos. So I am doing better. So I had a couple off days. So hopefully tomorrow will be better, which is just fine because I'm still not driving. I'm um, doing pretty good. Which brings me to the next part. Now, earlier today, um, I was on Facebook. You know, when, you, when you're on disability or you're disabled, you can't work, what do you do? You know, you go on social media, you go on YouTube, you watch TV. I did some laundry. I worked a little bit um, trying to learn new things. So, like right now, this um, video is actually being shot on a Samsung S8, an older one that I had, and um, I learned how to connect it to my computer um, to use it as a webcam, so I don't have to set up this big, big bulky thing anymore. Well, it's not big and bulky; it's actually a really great camera. Um, but then you you gotta pull the you gotta if you want to hook it up, you can do HDMI. It's a bunch of cable stuff. This is just all software, and it's very easy to do um, if you're interested in it, it the app is called um, I it's I R I U N I ruin it something like that 
very easy app to run. You can YouTube it, and that's what I did. Um, but I came across a post, and it wasn't in any Meniere's site. It was one of my friends. And it's something that doesn't get talked about, but we do see it occasionally pop up in Meniere's or vestibular um, websites, uh, groups, Facebook groups. Um, and it's not something that's talked about that much. Uh, because there's probably still that stigma and it's called depression and anxiety and you you know it's part of chronic illness it's part of any illness that takes away your ability to do what you used to do let's face it um, because it's not like as you get older you gradually can't do something it's like you get hit with a chronic illness and boom it's instant it big stop and yes, I suffer from depression and um, and anxiety. And I'll be honest, I I have had suicidal thoughts in the past. And it was a post about um, suicide, but it was a post like you know, keep fighting. We're glad you're here. Da, 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 da. That was a very uplifting post, and and I loved it. But it's something that we have to deal with, that we have because we have chronic illness. Um, let's face it, it's part of who we are. And some people doesn't bother, other people does. I didn't think I ever had depression um, until, until I got Meniere's disease. And then I realized I have had depression my whole life. I didn't even realize it. You know, when I was lashing out at people and, you know, going through anger for times on end, you know, a couple of weeks, a month, those were depression. That was depression. And that was the way I was dealing with it. And... And it was a bad way to deal with it. Um, and I learned the hard way. Uh, well, I learned. I didn't learn the hard way. I learned the hard way, but I learned. And everything's fine. I'm still married. I'm still all this stuff. But here's the thing. If you're feeling down and you're feeling depressed, you need to talk to your doctor about either A, getting on meds, or B, getting a referral to a therapist. And you need to do it ASAP. Okay? Especially if it's not going away for a day or so. Once it gets beyond three, four days, you need to make a phone call. Because it it saved me. And it's going to save you too. Okay? And it's, you know, it's very easy to get depressed with that condition. You're home a lot. You can't, you know, do the things you do. Like, um, I drove for a living. I can't even drive a car down the street. But for 30 years, I drove a car and fixed copiers and printers and computer networks uh, for 30 years. And telephones, too. Sorry, telephones. I started out doing telephones. So it was actually 34 years. So every day, my life revolved around me being in a car. And that was my office. You know? Drive around all day. And then all of a sudden, April 27th, 25th, 2018, boom, I had to stop. Because I started getting my gentamicin shots. And then the vertigo was going into overdrive. So it was like, you know, April 24th, I went to work. April 25th, I went to see the ENT. That was it. Boom. I'm done. My whole life changed. That one day, I'll never forget it. April 25th, 2018. Never forget it. That was the day that my life changed forever. And at first... When you're out on disability, like I was on a short term, then long term, but at first when you're on a disability, you think it's gonna be great. You know, oh, it's gonna be great, I don't have to go to work, I'm gonna get paid, blah, 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 blah. It's all fun for two weeks. And then after that, it's like, what am I gonna to do today? You know, you're stuck in the house. You can't do nothing. I mean, yeah, if you're feeling good, you can. Maybe go fishing or do whatever. Um, you know, which is what I'm kind of missing right now because I do love to fish. And I will get back out there. Um, it's just going to take a couple of weeks. I'm not, you know, I know now how to handle it. So a couple of weeks I'll be out fishing. It'll be fun. Um, not all the time, but when I can. When I feel good. Um, but, yeah, your life changes in an instant. And in, you know, two weeks, like I said, two weeks, it's great. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, what do I do now? Um... You know, so it's it's like it's that whole summer I just went tumbled, you know, and then I was self medicating with alcohol, 
um, in the closet. Nobody knew I was even drinking. My wife didn't even know. I had bottles hidden in the basement. She didn't know. Um, and, and my whole world was collapsing around me. You know, and then I had a friend of mine tell me, you know, I think there's something wrong. I think you get got uh, depression there, buddy. You need to get some help. And now I was pissed. I was like, tell me what I'm told. Blah, 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 blah. And, um, but then I called her back a couple hours later and I said, you know what, you're right. Um, I'm going to make a call in the morning. And, you know, she had gotten on the phone with me then and I could... I could um, hear the tears, hear the tears of, of joy that I was finally accepting that I do have a problem. Um, and then my wife came home from work, I told her, because it was kind of rough on her, it was rough on her marriage. For a while I told her, I'm making a phone call in the morning and um, I'm gonna get help and, and I'm gonna get through this. I'm not gonna let the bastard win. And that's kind of been my motto um, for a while now is, you know, because I had the thoughts of ending it. I don't want to be here. Why don't I want to be here? I don't want to live like this. You know, I don't want to live like I still don't want to live like this. But you know what? I'm so used to it. You get used to it. The therapy, they, the, 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 my therapist helped me tremendously um, to deal with things and gave me coping tools. And yeah, I'm on medicine. And and it's great. You know, I'm, I'm you know, I still have my days. But, you know, so far, life's been pretty good. My wife's been happy. Um, you know, we don't barely fight anymore and we laugh and have fun and, and, um, you know, she's a great help to me as well, which I am very lucky and blessed that I have her because she's very helpful, very loving and very caring. Um, but you need to get the help. So if you feel any thoughts, they're bad thoughts, you know, you know, like I'd be better off dead or I don't want to live like this anymore. Um. This sucks, da, 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 and you're down in the dumps, and it lasts more than a day or so. You gotta get help. Get the help. Make the phone call. It'll be the best thing in the world for you. Is your life gonna change overnight? No. It's not. It didn't for me. I was in therapy for over a year, <laughs> okay? Um, now I'm on a per need basis. But, you know, the therapist is gonna help you. That's what they're there for. They're going to walk you through how to handle things and how to deal with things a lot better and a lot easier than with the way you probably have been dealing with them. And I'm telling you, give it time and you're going to feel better. So let me check what the time is on this. This is 12 minutes. Wow. <laughs> it's after 12 minutes. So on that note, you know, I'm going to post the, you know, the suicide hotline thing here. But you, you, you got to... You know, I'm not going to post it. I'm going to add it to the video. I'm going to edit it. But do yourself a favor. Get some help. Because like I said, chronic illness, <clears throat> Meniere's, vertigo, any chronic illness, depression and Meniere's runs together. So get the help if you need it. And I will talk to you somewhere down the line. Have a great day. Take care. And have a spin-free night. Good night, everybody.